Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so, uh, the other day I was just kind of uh, scouring Amazon to see if I can't find anything that's uh, rather, you know, unique that we haven't seen on the channel or maybe that I haven't seen on YouTube very much. Uh, something, you know, something in that category. And boy, did I find something that you guys are gonna get a kick out of. Me too. I don't know what's gonna happen here, but... I have found a cheeseburger in a tube. You heard that right. So apparently this is space food from Russia. They are calling this a Texas burger. Uh, but what else would go with burgers? Well, you got to have your french fries. Well, here we go. We've got french fries in a tube i know it sounds it just sounds crazy but there you go french fries and it's in a tube so uh these are paper labels that they were printed over uh obviously so that we could have a peek but there's no in ingredients on here just facts so it's 170 calories and there's two servings per tube uh, everything else on here is in Russian. I'm sorry, I don't have a translator, but from what I saw, it was just straight up French fries. There are your instructions. Uh, so one thing that, uh, I don't know if we heat this up. Just squeeze it out of the tube. I assume just squeeze it out of the tube. Uh, same thing with the uh, the burger. Now, I did see it. They showed a picture of the burger, and it was just, you know, a regular burger. Bread, meat, cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, uh, ketchup, mustard. So there's a nutrition facts on that one. 280 calories and two servings. So these packages, I mean, they're, they look pretty dirty and they look pretty banged up. I don't know if you can see that, but, um, yeah. So they come in these pouches. Um, I think there was a best buy date on these. There you go. Expiration date is, uh, 2025. And this one, the same. So, um, I guess we'll just go ahead and open these up and we will just put them on a plate and we'll go from there. So let's, uh, not wait any further and, uh, let's get into it. I think what I'm going to do is so that I don't mix these up because obviously I can't read Russian. I'm going to have the burger on this side and the french fries on this side. So, we will start with our burger. There's a tear notch. There. And, tear notch. Yeah, it wasn't even close. So, about puncturing the tube. Not really sure what to expect here. I do, doing this for you guys. Doing this for you guys. Some things that I do, I don't know why. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, they gave us a wet nap. Happens to be in English. Smart food tube. Uh, everything on here is in Russian, except for the front, of course. Interesting. Feels moist. They give us this pamphlet. Um, I have no idea what it says. No idea. But that's alright. So 
We've got the burger there. I don't even know why I even bothered. I'm excited and hesitant at the same time. But you only live once, right? I like bringing unique stuff to the channel. So we have another wet nap. You will definitely be using those. Some more literature in Russian. Maybe we have a Russian uh, a subscriber who can help us out. All right. So, uh, I'm going to leave the plates there for now. So, this is the burger. Not really, there's tape on here. Not really, not really sure why. But if you've seen this, it's tape, it's like a, not really sure. So, it looks like we unscrew the cap. And I don't know, it looks like you uh, use the wet nap. Is that what they're trying to say? Use the wet nap to clean that? I mean, that's for sure what it looks like to me. You know, we don't really know where... Huh. There's a liquid in the cap. See that? It doesn't smell like anything, but that's, yeah, I don't, what am I supposed to do with that? See? Wow. That's kind of concerning, considering I don't know where that water came from. You know what I mean? Um... I'm gonna, it's not really moist, it, it's a little bit, but to be honest with you, that's, I mean, these were sold on Amazon, so they gotta be somewhat safe, right? <laughs> oh no, what am I doing? That was, uh, luckily it didn't smell like anything. But neither do these wet naps either. I don't really. I wonder if the water was in there because maybe in the last part of the production process they get cleaned by a machine, you know, you know sprayed or something. I don't know. Oh boy. All right. Well. There's only one thing that we can do, and we got to proceed here. So I will puncture it with the top of the cap. It's got like a little spiky on there. And there you go. There's your first look. I don't know if we can... There we go. You know, uh, first smell, it smells like, uh, I smell, <laughs> crazily, I smell burger. Uh, I smell a uh, hamburger and I smell like, like a, you know, like a bread. Hmm. Well, you ready? It's, uh, ooh, I'm going to get a close-up of this. There you go. You know, it smells... 
You know what it smells like? To me, to be honest, it smells like opening a can of corned beef hash. That's exactly what it smells like. Um, texture is funky. It looks like toothpaste. Let's get it up here closer so you guys can see. I mean, look at this. It sticks to the spoon. <laughs> uh. It smells like, yeah, like potted meat. Corned beef hash. That's what it smells like. So, I mean, that I can, I can live with that. There you go. Here's the texture. Well, here we go. Very interesting, to say the least. Um, I can definitely taste pickles. I can taste the onion, but it tastes more of like an onion powder. It tastes like potted meat. And I can taste some mustard. That's, um... <laughs> oh, boy. That's very interesting. I have to tell you, that is a huge tube. Very big. Um, you know, one thing is, I wonder if you can refrigerate this and keep it. Hmm. Very interesting. It's not bad. I mean, to be honest with you, it doesn't, it doesn't taste too bad. I mean, it's, I don't know, I mean, yeah, I guess if I was in space, and you had no other choice, that's a very low caloric intake, for sure. You know, I'm going to actually put this in the refrigerator and uh, entertain the friends and wife and whatnot with that. Let's go ahead and try the french fries. That's... I mean, if you really want to know the truth, that's like it the the taste in the back of my mouth tastes like a gas station cheeseburger. Let's see if there's any water in this one. There's a little bit of liquid. Not not much. Not like the other one. Maybe that's why they tell you to to use the wet nap to to wipe it off. Pretty sure that's what they're trying to get at there. So we will do that. It's funny is this wet nap doesn't smell like much of anything. It is a little moist. Not typically as moist as ones that we usually get in the MREs. But it is moist. Right here I need to clean off the end of this cap. Puncture. Yeah, pretty big old spike there, but it looks dirty. Okay. Here goes nothing. Okay. It appears to be white. And I don't smell anything. At all. I'm getting no smell. Okay. It's yellow. Like french fry should be. Texture is... A lot chunkier... Than the burger. But I guess... 
That's because uh, it is potato. Right. Okay. I'm going to keep this one on that side. You know what's funny is I just noticed this. But this one's got a cow symbol on there. So you know that it's going to be, you know, a burger. So you can, uh, and then this one's got a leaf. And it also says that it's vegan. So you can differentiate differentiate between the two. So here we are. It's our french fry. Can't have a burger without fries. Definitely like a potato-like consistency that you would think if they put it in a blender. But not much more to say, so let's try it. Huh. Funny enough. It tastes like potatoes. Tasted like it tastes like unsalted mashed potatoes. Really thick. It's got good texture. Honestly, this is not bad. Not bad at all. The the burger. It's kind of funky. Let's add a the burger with fries you know now that I've had it again <clears throat> it's actually not that bad that's just really really funny I would honestly only eat this if I had to. Because it's... I don't know. It's just, it's just funny. Uh, I wish I knew how long this would last in the refrigerator. Uh, yeah. I was actually looking at this. I hope that doesn't mean that we have to heat this to 165 degrees. Well, I guess we'll know in the morning. Alright, guys. Well. Now you've seen it. You've seen it? Wish we had smell of vision for you. So you can know what it smells like. But we got... Burger and fries in a tube. Portable. I uh, I got these on Amazon. So I will leave a link in the description if you are interested in these. I mean, this would be fun for the kids. You know, the whole astronaut thing and, you know, things like that. And then, I don't know. It's a good conversation piece, to be honest. You know, break it out one night at a party or just, you know around the campfire with the friends or you can let the kids imagination run wild and they think that they're astronaut or cosmonauts um, cool little novelty I think um, these were I think I got uh, these are like twenty seventeen dollars a piece not too bad I think it was worth the experience um, and then <clears throat> Stay tuned for tomorrow night because I do have one, I was able to find one other menu item in a tube. And uh, it's one of everybody's faves. faves. So, uh, yeah. Um, stay tuned for that one. I will be uploading it. And uh, so, yeah. 
that will do it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I mean, hey, who can't, who can't, you can't complain burger and, burger and fries in the, any time you want on demand, right? <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, that will do it for this video. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, we're getting close to 400 subscribers. Thinking about the uh, giveaway. Uh, I'm not sure what it is that we're going to be doing. So, uh, well, I did say that, you know, we would be, that <clears throat> there's going to be an option for the winner uh, between two separate prizes. But as far as how we're going to run the giveaway and everything, I'm trying to think of a little bit something different. Not sure, though. I will let you guys know, of course. And um, so, yeah, that'll be it. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Until next time, have a good one.